Today, I'll be talking about that special time of year that all Syrians look forward to, the Eid. There are two main holidays in Islamic countries, which are called Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Today, I'll be talking about these, what do they signify and what do we do during them? Welcome back everyone to Speak Real Arabic. I'm your host, Ozzy, and I'm from Damascus, Syria. You guys have been awesome in your support for this channel so far, but we always can use some more. So go ahead, click that bell icon, subscribe button, all the cool kids are doing it. And as usual, if you're curious about anything in the Syrian culture and want me to tell you more about it, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to explore that with you guys. So what I want to talk about today is the Syrian, or more accurately, the Muslim holidays, which we celebrate in Syria. So the two main ones are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr literally means the celebration of breakfasting. And no, we don't love breakfast so much we designated it its own holiday. No, no, no. This holiday signals the end of Ramadan, the month in which Muslims fast from sunset to sundown. So Eid al-Fitr means the celebration of having fasted for a month, and now it's time to break it. Though, we do love breakfast, don't get me wrong, we really, really do. <laughs> Anyways, this holiday is usually three days long and has a whole bunch of traditions. Before I get into those though, though let me talk about the other Eid, Eid al-Adha. This means the Eid of sacrifice. And this is to celebrate how God spared Abraham from sacrificing his own child. Lovely history. The two Eids are celebrated more or less the same way, with some slight differences that I'll get into more during the video. First things first is the prayer of the first day of Eid, which we call Salat al-Eid. It is an extremely important tradition it's actually one of the only two prayers throughout the year which does not take place during the five designated prayer times. This usually takes place about two hours after sunrise and it is a big deal. Everybody dresses in new clothes, wakes up early and heads up to the mosque to congratulate their friends, family members and neighbors. It's a lot of fun and a lot of uh, uh, community. After that comes the first day of Eid al-Fitr's breakfast. So I'm gonna say that again. After that comes the first day of Eid al-Fitr's breakfast. This is the breakfast to beat all breakfast. This is a huge deal in Syria cause during the entire month of Ramadan, you don't really have breakfast. This is where families prepare a massive meal filled with various foods such as hummus, tapule, fried things, deli food, and it's, it's usually one of those breakfasts where you feel like you're pregnant with an alien afterwards. Oh, some good memories there. In Eid al-Adha, however, the breakfast is slightly less important, but we still do it big. What makes this one stand out is that we usually give gifts of meat to our relatives, acquaintances, and the needy. The rest of the Eid traditions are quite similar, actually. The most exciting part of Eid for kids is visiting family members to get your Eidiyeh. This Eidiyeh is a small amount of money that your relative give you so you can buy clothes, toys, or can go on rides, which I'll get to in a bit. So, the tradition is simple. You visit a relative's house, you say, Kul am wa antum bikhair, which literally means, I hope that you are in good health every year. Then you do the classic 19th century hand kiss, and they give you some money. Then you have to sit and behave while the adults talk about whatever they do. These visitations are usually organized with other families, relatives, and acquaintances. So for example, you have to make it known which of the days you'll be visiting and which of the days you'll be at home so people can come visit you. You also should have sweets and treats that you, well, force upon your visitors because it is so rude not to accept those. 
I am really shocked that not more people in Syria have diabetes given all the sugar that we consume. We're just, I don't know, have good genetics, I guess. <laughs> Another awesome thing during these eight is the carnival rides that get put up all throughout the city. I am talking swings, carousels, massive slides, shooting galleries, massive wheels that can be seen from miles and miles away. Those things are what the idea is for. And it is the most fun of the year. There's junk food everywhere. You go on rides with your friends while your family sits somewhere near you and you guess the gossip. You know, everyone gets dressed in their best clothes and the whole city feels like one massive party. So this is pretty much what Syrians do during their Eid. Just a lot of family visitation, fun carnival rides, awesome clothes, and a lot of fun and merriment. Oh, and sugar. Sweet Lord, just so much sugar. I guess this is it for me for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button so corporate allows me to continue hosting this channel. I'm having a great time with you guys. Once more, I've been Ozzy, and I'll hope to see you all soon. Have a fantastic day.